सो वेलकम बैक एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टेट टू द पॉइंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑल ऑफ द नेसेसरी थिंग्स विच आर सोड इन दिस वीडियो आर प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एज अ लिंक सो यू कैन जस्ट सिंपली डाउनलोड एंड यू कैन जस्ट सिंपली चेक फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑल ऑफ द थिंग्स आई सोड इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द मेन थिंग इज आवर आर पी सी एस थ्री विच इज़ द पी एस थ्री एमुलेटर विच विल एमुलेट द गेम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हेयर इज ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट सिंपली क्लिक ऑन डाउनलोड सिक्सटी फोर बेट फॉर द विंडोज and here you will see simply download the latest version for the windows but before downloading it scroll a little bit here and installing on windows download dependency simply click on microsoft c++ 2019 redistribute and download this and once you download this simply open it and if it's already installed like in my case simply click on repair and you can see close so it's already installed here so i don't need another time but if you don't have installed it you have to do it before installing the emulator and the next necessary thing is ps3 firmware so this is the official website of sony playstation and we have to download the software update 4.911 in order to emulate our emulator properly so this is the official website you can get all of the links from description and simply click here uh update using computer simply click on update using computer and simply click here download ps3 update save link as and simply download this update and the another thing which will will require is rusty psnn and this basically this application is free from the gift hub and what this do is to update the game and we can and in some case we might require it to in order to update our game and uh, just simply download it from here uh, simply click here and install it and now we can go here and what i recommend is creating a folder to manage all of your files so create two folders one for rpcs3 and one for the game so here i created a folder playstation 3 so here are my both of the files are downloaded the ps3 firmware and the main rpc3 emulator simply click on ps3 emulator and click extract here simply click extract here so now you can see we got all of this file simply open the rpc3.exe it will load up i have read the quick start guide and do not so again you can create a desktop on shortcut continue and now this is our interface pretty basic so the first thing we have to do here is to install the firmware the most important thing simply click here and install firmware and then simply select where your firmware was installed where you downloaded the firmware file from the sony playstation website so here you can see here is the file psdupdate.pf simply click open and it will now install the firmware and it will take a little bit of time here Uh, depending on your pc it might take a little bit of time less like 5 to 10 minutes or maybe like 1 or 2 minutes here so once our firmware is now installed next thing we have to do is to create custom game pad or keyboard configuration in order to play the game so simply click on pad and if you got a keyboard just default keyboard you can see the already assigned keys just simply select the keyboard here and you can get all of the settings already pre assigned simply click on save if you want to change any of the setting you can just simply click like i click on w and you can change it to anywhere else but if you don't want to play from a keyboard and you got controller like me you can select your controller like dual shock 3 dual shock 4 or for xbox controller select x and i and put controller it will bring the settings for uh, xbox controller so here whichever method you want to play just simply click on them and click save so just simply click save here and the next thing is to install the game is to download our game so first of all i do not promote any piracy so i won't going to show you that where you can get the game from and as it comes under the piracy i'm not going to provide any kind of link but you can definitely search on google i believe you all got uh, how to use google to get the games so you can search on the google to how to download the game for the ps3 mgs4 and but i'm but i can't show in this video that where you can download the game from so once you download your game the game should look like this in a folder in metal gear solid 4 guns of the patriots like you can see here this is how the game should look so once you download the game simply open your rpc3 emulator click on files and then click here on add game and then select the folder where your game where you downloaded your game so here in the mgs folder 
I will simply select this folder and it will load up my game like here you can see I already loaded my game here and now the next main thing is the game version here you can see the game version is already 2.00 and this is the latest version and if you downloaded this version it means you don't require to update your game and it's already on the latest version the version we require in order to play the game properly it's 2.00 and but if you don't got the but if you got the like you got in uh, not the latest version of the game you got the outdated version of the game which is not 2.00 we have to update the game so in case you got older version you have to click here right click and click on copy info and here copy the serial click the copy serial and then we have to use the application we downloaded which is the rusty psnn which it uh, comes in play when we have to update our game like if you got any older version simply open the rusty psn application here rusty psn.exe and simply copy paste the title serial here and then click search for updates and when you search for date it will download the update for the game and once you download the update simply click on file and click here on install packages wraps and edits and uh, just simply select the update the rusty psn just downloaded and it will automatically load the update and your game will bring to the latest version but this step is only required when your game is already not available on 2.00 version in most of the cases your game should already be updated to this latest version so now the next thing is the most important part of this video is the settings for the game so simply click on create custom configuration for the game and here is the main thing don't skip any of these settings in order to get the proper frame rates and overall stability so here in the cpu tab do not change anything here just simply set this like this and here in the gpu tab the the most important thing is to select vulcan and select your graphics card like i got gt 1650 selected and here on the frame rate limit type we are going to off the frame rate limit because uh, like l capping the frame rate to 60 can cause a little bit of performance drop and simply enable vsync because if the fps goes above like 100 or 200 the game is going to crash so simply open the vsync otherwise you will get the screen tearing issue as well click on anti aliasing and disable it and here on the uh, accuracy tab simply select relaxed fastest or you can even select the fast option but the relaxed will work the fastest here so simply set that and here in the anostropic filter this thing will improve the graphics and in my overall experience this doesn't cause any kind of performance drop and that's overall good so simply select the 16x here on the anostropic filtering tab and right color buffering should be on and here you don't have to change any of these things but if you want to play the game like upscale to higher resolution like you can see here 720p default if i simply upscale it i can take it to 1080p or even i can yeah i can even take it to 4k if i want or even higher than 4k but if you want the best performance keep it on default like 720p but if you want to upscale the game a little bit to 1080p you can also do like this so i will leave it on default and these are all the settings from here now we have to go on the advanced settings and here first of all Vulcan Kui scheduler simply click on fast and here this is very important the accuracy tab here click atomic it will help to prevent the crashes and the another important thing is accurate RSS reservation access this also helps in uh, preventing the crashing issues so you can see here all the settings but here comes an another very important settings which we have to enable in order to get the cutscenes of the game to be playable properly otherwise the game is going to stuck on the cutscene scene so basically here in the filmware libraries option we have to select a library called lib.vedic.xprx so lib you can just simply select here and search for the libvedic.xprs so so here you can see this is what i am talking about simply select on this lib 
fidec.sprx and this is actually very important otherwise the game will going to crash on different cutscenes or it's going to just like stuck so simply select this option here which is lib.wed.xprs in the library filmware libraries option and that's all you can simply copy the uh, exact settings here you can keep all of these settings to default and simply copy the settings from here and this is the setting for the best performance and to maintain the best stability simply click apply and save custom configurations so now the next thing is to install the patches which is also very important so first of all you have to download the special patches for the game which you can find from the link in the description box so simply download both of these patches and these are the patches patch.yml and patch yml.old simply copy both of these patches once you downloaded them and open the main folder of the rpc 34 of the rpc 3 emulator and here in the folder uh, you can see the folder for patches simply open it simply open it and simply click paste and if, if it says to replace replace the destination and now open your rpc 3 emulator right click on the mgs4 and click on manage game patches here okay and do not update these patches do not update simply click no and now we got our patches so first of all click here on the all version tab and sell spurs urgent command hack this is the most important patch in order to fix the crashing issues simply click here enable and enable enable it for the 4.9.1 and 490 and then here you can select this option crash fix and unlock fps to get more fps here and you can see flickering textures fixed and these are all of the main patches which we have to require but if you want to increase the performance of the game even further you can simply select the patches like disable shadows disable snow effect disable spawn effect this effect will of course reduce the quality of the game but will improve the performance so if you got like weaker cpu or weaker pc you can try enabling these features but these are the like the current applied patches are important in order to get the game working properly so simply click apply and click save and now we are done now we can play the game so simply click here and boot with custom configuration but for the first time when will you, when will you boot the game it will build the it will compile the pp modules and it will take around one to two hours depending upon your pc but it will only take it for the first time when you load the game so it will build all of the shaders in the first two hours like you can see two hour four minutes remaining and and here is just a simple workaround for the crashes so let's just say you are still getting some random crashes here and there after playing a game for a long time simply click on file and here you can see the all title tab you can remove the disk catch like currently there is no disk catch but you can remove the disk catch before opening the game or in the filmware you can remove the filmware catch if you are facing some random crashing issues and these simple things can help in sometimes preventing the crashing issues but if you have followed all of the settings and pasted the patches properly i can promise that you are not going to get any kind of problems here so it will build the shaders here so let's meet inside the game so now inside the game we are done now you can play the game and enjoy it and that's all if you find this video helpful share it with your other friends and if you like my work subscribe to the channel like the video and if you can join the channel's membership it can help me a lot to make more of this video so i guess that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and i catch you next one bye